Welcome aboard. Today we're building some cheese from some nearly ready to expire dairy products. We're going to use three quarts of 36% whipping cream, one gallon of 2% milk. You're going to fire those into your cauldron of choice and get some heat on it. Stir it up well, try not to burn it. We're making fine cheeses, we're not deep treating tool steel. Now that it's warm enough, we're going to curdle it. So you're going to grab a lemon, a lime, maybe some white vinegar, whatever you've got handy. Fire that in there, stir it up really well, and it's going to separate. You're going to be left with some really watery portions, and then some, for lack of a better word, chunks. The chunks are what you want. Now, because I've never made cheese before until this attempt, I tried to strain it through a coffee filter. That's a waste of time. So down the hall you go and grab yourself a pillowcase. Now it doesn't have to be your finest Egyptian cotton or anything like that. The cleaner the better, but that's a personal choice. Now that you got it inside the pillowcase, just let gravity look after the rest. This is just like straining fruit to make juice. You're going to let it all settle down to a corner, tie that off, hang it up, and leave it alone. Let it drip, let it dry out a little bit. It's already cheesed, you just have to give it a shape. Now throw that in the fridge overnight, let it cool down, open it up in the morning. And this is what you've built. Small ball of mozzarella, essentially. Doesn't have a strong flavor, doesn't have a strong taste. Sticks together pretty good. You can add a bunch of spices or flavors to it if you'd like. Now, I won't lie to you, you're probably not going to disrupt Kraft's market share in the fine cheese world with this recipe. But it is something you can make at home. Something you can build with your kids for essentially very little cost, very little tools, and it's something that you can make for yourself. So that's how I made cheese. Hopefully that's helpful in some way. There's not a lot of complicated steps. I'm sure there's several different ways of, of doing this, but this is what seemed to work for me. Thanks for taking some time to have a look at the video, and have yourself a great day.